Surprising reason why technical analysis is not working. Hey guys and welcome back to an exclusively new video on my channel TradingFi. And today in this video, we are going to talk about technical analysis. And especially we are going to understand that why technical analysis is not working for you. You see, technical analysis is a very powerful market analyzing method that will find you various different trades in the market. It is a tool or we can say technique which is used by a lot of traders in the market. So what is the reason that you and other beginner traders are not able to profit from technical analysis? What are the mistakes that they are doing which is stopping them from becoming professional traders? You see, in this video, I am going to explain along with 4 points that what are the mistakes that most of the beginner traders are doing in the market due to which technical analysis is not working out for them. Which are the mistakes that you have to avoid so that you can consistently make money out of the stock market? You will understand in this video so make sure that you are watching this video till the end do not skip it and one more thing if you are new to this channel or not yet subscribe to this channel make sure that you do it so that you won't miss any upcoming videos or updates on the stock market. Alright so let's start with this video and the mistake number one that most of the trader does is that using wrong price action. Price action is a concept in technical analysis wherein we analyze the movement which is made by the price of a stock. And then we can figure out that whether the stock is gonna go bullish or bearish. But most beginner traders don't know how to use price action in a correct way. Most of them use this concept along with anticipation. Let me show you an example. Now as you can see on the screen there is a chart and exactly over here the price is currently at a support level. Now most of the beginner trader will look for a buying opportunity over here. Because they kind of think that if the price is at a support level it is surely going to go bullish. But what often happens is that the price breaks the support and gives a bearish move. Now over here whoever bought the stock thinking that it is going to go bullish will be making loss. And this is what mistake most of the novice traders in the market do. They simply trade in an anticipation without waiting for a confirmation. Now over here what a professional trader would do is that he will wait for a green candle as a confirmation which would indicate that the market is actually taking a support now. And then he would again look for some bullish candlestick patterns like bull sash, morning star, bullish engulfing and then make a buy entry over here with a proper stop loss. And in this case there are likely chances that he will go correct in the market and make profit. Now this is like a minute difference between a beginner trader and a professional trader. But at the same time this is what creates a major difference between profit and loss of both these traders. So always remember that you don't have to take any trade in anticipation. You will have to wait for a proper confirmation on the chart. Now the mistake number 2 that a trader does in the market is not analyzing volume. You see price and volume these are the two things that the market is providing us. Rest all of the indicators like RSI, MACD or volume oscillator are derived from these two elements. We usually analyze the price but we often overlook the volume. You see while analyzing a chart a volume is as important as the price. So if I have to explain you in brief. You see that when the price is rising along with volume rising it indicates a strong uptrend. Now this simply means that when the price is in uptrend along with the volume significantly rising it indicates that more and more buyers are interested into that stock which is responsible for a strong uptrend in its price. Now when the price is rising and the volume is falling it indicates a weak uptrend. That means the buyers are eventually losing their interest in that stock and there are chances that the price may go sideways or may give a reversal. And similarly if the price is falling and the volume is rising it indicates a strong downtrend where a lot of number of bears are interested in selling the stock due to which we can see a strong downtrend in its price. And similarly when the price is falling along with volume falling it indicates a kind of weak downtrend. This is a type of really important data that we can get by analyzing volume. And if you want to understand how can we analyze volume along with candlestick patterns I have made a separate video on it, the link will be flashing above or you can check out the description. The third mistake that a trader makes is that they don't know anything about trap trading. Now what do you mean by trap trading? I am sure it must be a new term for you. You see there are operators in the market who set trap for retail investors like us. And most of the time beginner traders and even professional traders enter this trap and then they make loss. Now as you can see on the screen there is a chart and over here the price gives a breakout. Now it is obvious that any beginner trader or even professional trader will buy over here. This is because if the price is giving a breakout there are chances that the market is going to go in an uptrend. But instead of that what happens here is that 
the price don't sustain this breakout and then again goes bearish. Now this is what is called as a false breakout which is a kind of trap in the market. But this is also a fact that you cannot completely eliminate traps in the market but you can minimize it at a very extent with the help of volume and other indicators. And I will surely make a video on how can you identify between a strong breakout and a false breakout which can then save you a lot of money in the market. Alright now let us look at the fourth mistake that a trader does which is using multiple indicators on a chart. Now you see indicators are something that will tell us that when the market is going to go bullish or bearish and we can use them in a strategy very effectively and make really good trades in the market. But there should be a limit of how many indicators you are using. You see this is how my chart used to look few years back. There are multiple indicators over here like the MACD, RSI, Super Trend, VWAP, Moving Average, Volume and all of these indicators create a mess on the chart. You see a normal trader will use multiple indicators just to get multiple confirmations on a buy or sell signal. And this is what exactly I used to do which was kind of a big mistake. As you can see on the chart the price is overlooked and we are giving most of the attention to the indicators. But price itself is an indicator in fact the supreme indicator in the market. From the price all other indicators are derived and so it must be given most attention while trading. And so I can say that one or two indicators are more than enough while trading. So as you can see this is how my chart looks like when I am currently trading. We have a moving average and RSI. That's it and no other indicator. And I want you to apply the same concept in your trading. Master one or two indicator. You don't have to learn five to six indicators just to get multiple confirmations. So these were the four mistakes that a beginner trader usually makes in the market. And honestly speaking I was even one of them who used to make such mistake when I started trading. But right now I have improved myself, I have improved my skills in technical analysis and I want even you to do so. So even you can be profitable in the market. Alright guys thank you for watching this video till the end. If you like the video please hit the like button. Share this video to as many traders as possible and do not miss such many videos and updates on the stock market, technical analysis and trading. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell. Alright and I will see you in the next video.